Once again, Happy New Year, Aries. This is your forecast for January. We've done the yearly overview, which was brief, but uh, hopefully gave you a broad-based view of what's happening. Right now, we can see here <coughs> the movement of Jupiter. Here in Taurus with Uranus, all financially based, and that's fortified by this intense and incredible array of planets up here in the upper part of your horoscope. The sun in the 10th house, bringing with it prestige, opportunity, and when Mars also hits this 10th house of your horoscope, there on the 5th of January, you see an incredible powerhouse of energy due to the trio Pluto, Sun, Mars. These two planets get directional strength. Mars being your ruling planet is very, very empowering. Aries, Mars gets directional strength there along with the Sun. It gets a lot of power physically and it gives you a lot of power professionally as it's in the 10th house. This is the time to throw your hat in the ring for any job that you're <coughs> looking for because that empowers you personally and gives you the opportunity to make an impact on others. Keep your eye out on the moon here because that's also going to underpin what I'm saying about your career because the new moon this month takes place in the sign of Capricorn there activating there it is there the 10th but it actually hits the sun <clears throat> on the 11th so what's that that's doing in particular because it's a friendly planet to you it's uh, going to give you new opportunities because the new moon is about uh, you know bringing yourself into that new chapter of life and for you january 2024 looks like it's going to be a precedent set for career opportunities now, a couple of other aspects that we can see here. Um, the combination of Saturn and Neptune in the 12th house. This is more personal issues working through your past hurts. But also on the topic of money, this really is an opportunity for you to, uh, there it is there on the 14th as it moves past Saturn, to purge yourself of those things in your past that are holding you back. Once that's happened, you'll see here Venus edging up closer and closer. <clears throat> Again, to the upper part of the horoscope, Mercury has entered there around the 14th into that 10th house as well. Great for communications. This is the time to forcefully put your opinions and your ideas forward because that Mercury-Mars combo here is a, an interesting astrological color it gives you the power of debate <coughs> pardon me the power to put forward your opinions and your viewpoints in a very very convincing manner the opportunities to earn money are there when moon makes its conjunction with jupiter around the 19th and there could be some sudden and unexpected gains as it makes its conjunction to uranus in those trine aspects to everything there in the 10th house well mainly the mercury and the mars again um, substantiating what I said there about the power of your speech, your ability to communicate what you want and to gain financially from that. You see that here as a result of all of these favorable aspects. It's just this 12th house here that's undergoing some uh, difficulties, some confusions there around the 21st with Venus and Neptune. Venus, the ruler of your marital sector, creating maybe some challenges there in the relationships some confusion, maybe that forceful level of uh, communication is a little bit too much. You maybe need to tone that down, exercise a little bit of compassion, also the domain of the 12th house. And take a look at the powerful Sun-Pluto combination. On the 21st, Pluto moves into this 11th house. It'll stay there for a little while, but this is going to activate your social instincts, your friendships, and because these two planets are basically talking about indomitable will. You may meet your match in terms of your uh, social clique, meeting someone who obstructs. There's still that Mercury-Mars combination 
which makes you somewhat argumentative. And with Sun and Pluto in the 11th, it could play out in that area, especially with these hard aspects to the second house. Here you see the Jupiter excessive Pluto transit there, bringing with it some, I guess, some communication problems, some uh, social issues that need to be uh, dealt with. I did overlook the 26th. There's that full moon there in the fifth house, an opportunity for romance, love, and a new form of networking. Uh, you may be able to um, overlap that with your professional activities. As I said, that new moon there in your 10th house is excellent. Venus also moving in the 10th house, bringing with it some really nice elegance and good taste, an opportunity for you to dress the part if you're going into important meetings to impress, impress others. This is the time when you've got a lot of these planets in the upper part, which has to do with your reputation, your prestige, and uh, putting your best foot forward. Don't forget to look at the rest of the forecast I've put up there for you at astrology.com.au. It gives you a more uh, sort of broad-based um, look at things. And then uh, I guess a detailed summary of the transits as they're happening day by day. So do look at that. Don't forget to check out your yearly horoscope. We've got the weeklies up there as well and day by day to help you figure out exactly what's going on in your neck of the universe. Don't forget to subscribe. We need your subscription. Uh, drop me a note if you need your yearly forecast. It's, now's the time to do it. And I'll be back next month. Looking forward to your company again. Bye-bye.